Hi, I'm Cecile Renaud from Tallahassee, Florida. This tape is going to show you some things on team drills. This tape on team drills I think you'll find interesting. We set up a variety of drills for you to watch. We're going to have some uh, position training with outsides and middles. We'll have a lot of six on six drills and a lot of different ways that you can keep score during uh, your practices. And I think most teams like to have a scoreboard running during their drills. They know what's going on and it kind of keeps them focused on it. And also a lot of different situations that we put them in six on six that will be really game like and actually make them better players in a game situation. We're going to go through and try and show you a lot of different drills that you can use with your team. Some are six on six, some are specialized by positions. This first one is called a tip scrimmage, and all we're going to do is play six on six. You're going to tip the ball over the net, and we're going to make sure we get a perfect pass to the setter. A perfect pass to the setter, and then she's going to either, she can set her middle, or she can set outside, or she can back set. Our setters are coming out of right back every time. And we're going to try and get the ball back and forth across the net five times. Okay? Every time we get a good pass to the setter, we keep going. If we don't get a good pass, we stop and we start over. Everybody understand? Here we go. It's just a nice, I'm going to give you a nice free ball. You pass it up. All right, here we go. Okay. Now we need you to count out loud every time the ball goes back and forth across the net, okay? Those were, we started out with some good, perfect passes. Here we go. Here we go. Back to zero. That's too far off the net. I want it right on the net, okay? Here we go. Okay, we got to four. Here we go. Nice job. Here we go. Next ball. Bad, bad pass. Here we go. Bad pass, here we go. Four. Mine. One. Three. Bad pass, I'd like it more, to the, more toward the right side of the court there, up just in the middle, just a little bit more, okay? Here we go. Four. Back. One. Two. Three. Here we go. Ready? Here we go, next ball. Okay, still got to four. Tell me, how many times, how many balls do you need to get to five? How many opportunities do you want? Fifteen. You want fifteen chances? I'll lay out fifteen balls. How long is it going to take you to get through the drill? Each time we start over. Each time you start over. How many you want? Eight. Eight balls. Put eight balls down here, Mike. Ready? Eight balls and then there's a consequence, okay? Ready? Here we go. One. That's off the net. Second ball. Here we go. That's off the net. Third ball. Here we go. Fourth. 
cliff ball. Here we go. Concentrate. Get a good pass. This is a slow moving ball. Here we go. Get it back to the right of center. Here we go. Is this the fifth ball? Sixth ball. Seventh ball. Last ball, right here, right? Last ball. Here we go. Ready? Bad pass. She couldn't quite get to it. Let's step off the court. Five sit ups. Quickly get back out here. Five sit ups. Quickly get back out here. It's very important we're able to control a slow moving ball. All right, let's try eight again. Here we go. Ready? Great job. What was the difference there? Focused. You knew this wasn't going to go on until we went into the nighttime. Very nice job. Now let me add the second thing to the drill. In order, you're going to go five times across the net again. Now it has to be a good pass and you have to cover. And the attacker has to be able to contact it with her right arm. If she's way out here and she's winging it with her left arm, that's not a good pass, that's not a good set, and that goes back to zero. So now I'm looking for a good pass, a perfect pass, a good set, so our hitter can hit it correctly, and everybody covering. Okay, so this is going to really stretch you. We'll put five balls out here for you. You want more than that? Want me to put every ball out here for you? It's up to you. It's the confidence you have in yourselves. Want to try five? All right, here we go. Let's lay them down there so we can see them. I want them to keep track of them. Ready? Three, four, one. Cover. Yeah. Illegal hit. Here we go. Too far off. Here we go. That's two. That's it. We got to three. Here we go. Ready? Cover. Cover. All right. Too tight to the net. Here we go. Really focus. Last ball. Illegal hit. Right off here, five push-ups. Quickly, then we're right back in, making sure that we pass it nice and high, that our hitters can get out. Ready, let's do five more balls. Is that enough? Do we need to go to 20? Is this too hard? Is there anything difficult about this? Okay. Is it difficult? No. Okay. Just seems to me like a slow moving ball, which is what this is, a tip scrimmage, we ought to be able to for sure get that up to the net and up to our setter. All right, let's try it one more time. All right, you ready? Good. Cover, good. Cover. See there, you guys could do it. You just held back on yourselves that first time. Excellent job. That's going through and doing what we call a ball control scrimmage. We'll change up how many times we get it back and forth again, maybe tomorrow when we come in for practice. Maybe we'll work on getting it back and forth eight times. But we'll continue to increase that to make sure that we can concentrate through the long rallies and get a good pass up there. And also really focusing you on, uh, on coverage, and I thought you did a real nice job with that. Now, if we were in a real practice, I would switch the front and back row. 
and we would continue that drill again. So the setter would be in the front row, and then she could set people running slides and everything else. So it's a good chance to work on your offense, and you can work on your free ball offense, all kinds of things. We're going to go through and do a middle hitter transition drill now. The setter is going to be up here trying to set the middle, and our middle is going to go hit it quick, go block to the left, try and block a ball, come off, hit, go block to the right, and we're going to try and get it so she has three successful hits out of the middle and three successful blocks. We can change that number however much we want to, uh, depending on her skill level and her experience. We'll start with a no, no, no number like three and hopefully get going so we can maybe get up to six and six. As long as they get more efficient, we'll add more and more on as they get more experienced. Okay, here we go. I'll just be tossing. We've got our hitters ready. One. Good, there's one hit. There's one block coming off. I'm sorry, one hit. Set it nice and high. There's one block, one hit. We need a nice hard hit. That one's out. Two blocks. Two hits. Three blocks. Find it. Come in. Oh, get another one. Four blocks. We just need one more good hit. Thank you. Nice job. Very important. She got through that. She was very effective, I thought. All right, we ready for our next player? Here we go. Quick, nice hit. Nice footwork. Get over there and block. There's one block, one hit. Set her just a little higher. Okay, let's get back in. Nice and high. Big jump. Good. Little, we need a powerful hit. Keep, here we go. Get up there quick. Get up high. Nice job. Let's get one more block and one more hit. A nice, powerful hit. Follow it in. Good. All right, let's see. That's three and three. Nice job. Good movement and good footwork. All right, let's have another player go. We have enough volleyballs to continue. Are we ready? Here we go. Good job, setter. One hit. Good. Good footwork going out there. Nice job. We've got one, two hits and one block. All right, here we go. There's three hits, two blocks. One. No, that's a. Still have three hits. That's a, you're a little bit late on that side. Got five hits now, and three blocks. Okay, that's good. We were just trying to get to three blocks and three hits. Now let me quickly switch, and I'll toss it in from this side, so you get to look at a different angle. Everybody doing all right? We need some more volleyballs over here quickly while you're going. Ready? We need some right here. Are we ready? All right, here we go. We're going to go three and three again. Here we go. Nice hit. Good block. Find the ball. Chase it in. Good block. Good hit. Okay, that's two and two. Watch the ball over there. Here we go. Up quickly. Nice job. Good transition. Block. Find the ball here. Keep your eye on it. Okay, one more block. Good. Nice job. The more you've done that, the better you've learned how to get your footwork. Nice transition. All right, are we ready? We have enough volleyballs. Here we go. Make sure you get, turn around here. You can start right here and let the ball come in over this shoulder. You don't have to get all the way back in here. Watch it right here. Okay, now chase it. Good, good. Okay, still need one block. I'm sorry, we need two. Good, that's another hit. Low and tight. Get your hands real big on that block. Follow it in. Nice job. Okay, we need one more block, one more hit. Good. Good. That's good. All right. Again, we want to make sure that you're using the correct footwork to get out there and stretching yourself as good as we can. Everybody's been through it? Need to go through on this side? All right, last one right here. Everybody has enough to continue. Scoot up there a little bit more. You can open up like this. Turn around and look at me. It's okay. There you go. We're just trying to make sure you can see from everywhere, or you can turn around the other way and look at me. Turn around the other way. There you go. Back in the court. All right, here we go. Good. One hit. One block. You guys scoot out there a little bit more. Nice job, blocker. Okay, we have one hit, one block. Nice transition off the net. One hit, one block. 
Brittany, keep them outside there, please. Two hits, one block. Good. Get up there quick. Hand up there. Stay intense on this. Yeah, they're coming in on that inside hand. Let's make sure you get that inside hand up on the block. Good. Inside hand. That's the way. Let's hit one more hit. Good. Nice job. Great job for the middles to be able to transition off the court, off the net, get back out here, drive back in and hit, go to block. And this is a great job for our middles. All right, this next drill we're going to use, uh, we're going to try and put a little bit of stress on our outside hitters. You're going to pass and get out here and hit, either cross court or down the line. You're going to have to hit three in each one of those areas. If it's a bad pass, a bad play, you've got to play the ball in. If you don't, if you make a hitting error, you're in the net or it's out of bounds, that's a minus. That's going to take away one of your good hits. Okay? All right, can I get a blocker right here in front of her? We'll probably need a couple of you switching here pretty quickly. All right, here we go. Five, four. Okay, scoop back down the line right there, all the way down, down, down. Okay, that's one of her cross courts. That's one of hers down the line. You stay there. She's trying to hit inside you. Okay, off the block doesn't count as anything. Okay, she's got one of her sharp angle hits. That's good. No, that's just a wash. That's just a, that's, is that an error or did she touch it? Okay, still we want to go line or cross court. Blocker, keep on them. Line or cross court. We're going to need another blocker to step in there in just a second. Okay, way to play it in, not to make a hitting error. Just putting a little stress on the outsides. Line or cross court. Setter, let's give him something good to swing at. Okay, that's one of your hits down the line. Are you one and one? Okay. Good, that's one of your hits down the line. Still even sharper cross court here. Okay, that's a bad pass for you, so that's an error. That's going to subtract one of your good hits. Make sure you play him in there, Brittany. Good job. Okay, still even sharper. Let's really cut that shot right back. That's the shot we're looking for, Brittany. That's another cross-court shot for you. That's a good cross-court shot for you. Nice line shot. Let's switch the blockers up again real quick. Hurry. Let's try and make sure we're really stressing them. Just a little more cross-court. Oh, that's an error. That takes away one of your cross-court shots, okay? Still nice and high reach and try and hit that sharp angle if it's the right set. Great shot, Brittany. Is that three for you? Two? Okay, that's a nice job off the block, but we're not going to count that. We need to, if she's that far, you need to hit cross court. Is that a good one, cross court? All right, I think you're finished cross court. All right, still go cross court or line, depending on the blocker. Okay, that's another error, Brittany, so that takes away one of your good ones. Always playing the ball in. Okay, cross court. Is that down the line? Okay. Good. All right, let's hold it. <clears throat> okay, I think you'll see that this drill really does stretch the outsides a little bit. And they need to learn to have a good pass to get themselves a good set. And then depending on where the blocker is, if she's down the line, they need to hit sharp angle. If the blocker is taking cross court, they need to hit the line. They can hit off the block all they want to, but we're really trying to get them out of the habit of just swinging hard and hitting it in the net or making a hitting error. So we really want to try and get them out of the habit of just trying to swing hard. Play the ball in if, it, if you don't have a real good swing at it. But it's important that outsides learn to hit cross court and down the line because most of the time the blocker's right here in front of you, cross court. 
Okay, this drill is for our middles. It's just uh, our middles against the defense over here. We're going to give them each 10 balls and see how well they can score. Really trying to decide who's our number one middle here. They're free to hit anything. You can hit a one, you can hit a shoot set, or you can hit a slide outside. Whatever your options, options are offensively, you can do. I'm just trying to keep track of which one of you comes out better offensively. So it's really called one versus six. You've got a passer here and you're gonna go in and you'll just rotate around and hit. All right, here we go, ball's coming in. Okay, here we go, next hit. Okay, that's a kill for her, next ball. Okay, that's a kill for her, they each have one. Yeah, that was just a little too high. Let's lower that. See, they had two blockers. All right. Each have one kill. Oh, nice job. Way to use the block tool in it. All right, you've got three kills, two kills. All right, next ball in. Great shot. All right, how many kills is that for you? Three? Okay, here we go. Next ball. Oh, great. Nice job, defense. Way to hustle. All right, here we go. Next ball. Good dig. Nice job. All right, way to dump the ball. Here we go. How many kills have you got still? You've got three. Nice and quick. How many kills is that for you? Two. Okay, usually we'll have our flip score over here keeping score. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Excellent job of seeing the defense and using that hole. Here we go. All right, good dig. Still a little high on that. I would lower that set because she's got two blockers over there. Okay, good job. Way to be tough defense. Nice play. I thought we did a nice job offensively. She wants to keep it going. Here we go. Okay, nice job of reading that defense. Make sure if that blocker goes up, you're over there. Here we go. Oh, good job. Way to keep moving forward. Let's go. A couple more each and we'll be done. Good job. All right, here comes the ball. Next ball. Good, nice read back there, defense. All right, next ball. Last one each. Good job. Way to call her off and change that up a little bit. Last one. Oh, nice score. Okay, I thought that was a good job of showing our middles how effective they were at moving along the net based on a pass because some of the passes were good and some weren't as good but I thought they showed how versatile they were to move along the net. Setter did a nice job, got some practice with them really audibilizing some of their calls. So I thought both players did a good job and you showed us the big range that you've got. Defense was outstanding, they dug up a lot of balls so I thought that was really good. All right, this next drill is six on six, but we're really focusing on the left side attackers. Every ball is going to go to the left side attacker, and she's trying to hit it to the left side of the court. You dig it up, set it to the left side, and you try and hit it over here to our left side. Okay, we're going to try and keep it going back and forth, trying to outscore each other to see who the better diggers, left side, and hitters are. Okay, we're going to give each uh, person, we'll give you five balls, we might give you ten. Depends on what, how much time we have in practice. Today we're just going to go to five balls on each side. All right, so let's get ready. We're hitting and digging left side. All right, Mike, you want to put a ball in over here? Three. Four. Here we go, next ball. Ready? I got it. Right here, 
Nice hustle. Here we go, Mike. Next ball right here. All right, ready? Right over here. Okay, nice call. Nice shot. Here we go. Good job. Here we go. Okay, trying to get left side to left side. If you're going to go up, let's make sure we hit left side. Here we go. Couple more balls. Here we go. My shot. All right, good job. Hold on. Okay, I think that's a good drill to really put some pressure on the left sides and to try and get them to attack against their opponent over there that's on the left side. Again, really working on a sharp angle shot, which is usually successful in a game situation. Most blockers don't block that sharp angle. So hitting hard and then learning to get back here on transition and digging back here deep. Okay, this drill is called three deep with setters. We're just gonna work right now on our back row attack and I'll just start putting the ball in. We're gonna play A, B, and C are our three hits. Setters, you have everything. Okay, here we go. Good. That ball's out. Here we go. Let me try and get another ball into you so you could be successful, okay? You got out. Here we go. I want you to be successful. You ready? I don't set them very high. Same thing. Back row. Somebody's handed to me quickly. Same thing. Don't get so far back. Way up here, it's gonna be a quick attack, it's short. Ready? That's it, good, short, here we go. If you're hitting out of the middle, the only person up there that can block you, you gotta hit angles right here. Good, nice job, here we go, you ready? Ball in. Somebody shag those over there, please. You with me? Here we go. Let's make you successful. Ready? Setters, let's make you look like you're sitting the left side. Make it look like you're setting left side. Always lead. All right, let's always lead the hitter. Never set her way back here. We're aiming for everything right along the attack line. Okay. Now let's add the middles. Okay, two middles. Middles against each other. Okay, now our options are, let me see your base defense over there. You two are right there. So you're in base defense when the ball's on our side of the net. And here's what can happen. They, can, they pass it up to me, I can dump the ball as the setter, I can set quick, or I can set the back row. And if I set the back row, where do you go? You back up for a down ball, okay? So you're going to do a lot, and you back up, setter, if we set the back row. So I'm going to be yelling transition off, on, off, on. Setters, you work on making sure that they stay and pay attention, okay? If we make a mistake, I'm going to step in there and try and make sure we get it so you feel good about how to do it the next time. Here we go. You ready? Right here. Here we go, ready. You ready? Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Lead your hitter. Make sure you lead your hitter. Get in there for quick every time. Good. 
Transition off, middle. Let's go, middle. Transition off. Here we go. You ready? Back off. You're going to come in and hit it quick. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good. Same thing right here. Back off and hit it. Okay, if you've got two big blockers up there, what are you going to do? Okay, let's do that. Here we go. Good. Keep it going. Transition off. Help. Nice defense. Great job. Oh, let's not attack the center. Okay. Nice job. Come on, middle. Come on, middle. Here we go. Ready? Ready? Nice job. Get up there, middle. You got to cover. If they set the back row right behind you, you got to not, you're not watching her hit. You're turning around ready to cover this. All right, let's switch it up again. Let's get two new middles. Let's rotate around. Somebody right here, rotate off the net. Setters, I never saw you dump the ball. Our defense is going to forget about that. Make sure you dump the ball. Middles up for something quick every time. Here we go. Good job. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Nice job. Keep your feet moving. Keep your feet moving. Oh, what happens here? Middle, who are you looking at? Her? Here we go. She's blocking it. Arms out, covering. Good. Oh, who gets the next ball? Right here. You're going to hit this over. Block her. Right there. Oh, here we go. Next ball. Ready? Good. That's the way to put it away. Ready? Here we go. Ball control. Transition. Okay, if they're hidden out of the back row, what should you be yelling? Down ball. Let's hear it so there's no doubt that we know it's a down ball. You ready? What is this? What is this? Oh, here we go. Ready, ready, ready. Keep moving your feet. Ready? Good. Nice job. Oh, never leaning backwards. Here we go. You ready? Never leaning backwards. You're falling backwards. Never lean backwards. Good. Come on, come on, come on. Stay on your feet. Get back there. Remember these run throughs we did at the beginning of practice? Good. Oh, hold it, hold it. Stay on your feet. Here we go. Ball's in. I'm going quick. Ball's in right here. Stay on your feet. Cover. Here we go. Next ball. Ready? Play it. Absolutely perfect. Nice Almost. Job. Ready? Play this ball up. Here you go. Play it up. Stop. Cover. Absolutely a fantastic job. One of our team's favorite drills. I assume it's one of your favorite drills too? Yeah. Yes? Okay, as far as drills go. But it's, I think it's an excellent transition drill from back row attackers. Setters can set back row. They can set the middle. They can set anything along the middle. They can dump the ball. And it's really a great drill, in my mind, to help these three people pay attention to the setter, the quick hitter, and learn to dig some down balls. So I thought you did a great job. Nice intensity. Again, we'll keep rotating people around. We'll switch our middles. We'll switch our setters. We might even have the same setter set both sides, depending on how our setter is doing that day. All right, we're going to do some work on serving and passing this time. And now we've got our servers lined up here. Our coach is going to give them a serving signal. 
so they can work on serve in different zones. We've got three passers. When they pass the ball to the target, they'll step out and somebody will take their place. They like to receive with three, so that's how we're going to let them practice. Meanwhile, the setter is going to get an opportunity to just work some with the outside hitters. And there's one blocker over there that they've got to hit around just to give them a couple of reps. We're trying to get to 10 points, 10 good passes. If the ball gets passed over the net, that's a minus. Or if it's an ace on you, that's a minus. So we're really trying to make you focus in on good passes. Okay, hold it just a second. All right, let me see serve reception responsibilities. Remind me how you're covering seams. As soon as you see who's serving. If you'll let us know who's serving right away, let me see your seams. Who's going in front? Everybody needs to look alike here. Okay? Make sure, and you talk to each other, you don't just put your hands out. Make sure you check your sidelines. This whole drill is set up for serve reception, so let's practice it in between every play. We've got to make sure we know where we are. All right, here we go. Next. Four, four. Good. Nice pass. Count that. Blocker. Blocker. Get ready. Blocker. Hands up. Let's look at her out here. Good. Good job on passing. All right, nice serve. Here we go, next ball. Let me see your responsibilities. Look around. Good. Four, four, four here. Good. Okay, again, a good pass is something that the setter could set the middle on. All right. Talking about our responsibilities. Help. Call it. Mine, 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 mine. Okay, hold it. All right, there was a seam problem. That's why we're doing this drill. Did we do a good job of calling out who had what? Nice job. Way to follow her. Blocker, hands up and big. Here we go. Okay, middles. Who's the next server? Let me see outside. Where are your hands? Passers. Responsibilities. Okay. Setter, got to have you go for those. Good job. Hold it a second. Who's serving? You got it? All right, let me hear you all three say something. Where's the end line? Make sure you know where it is every time. <laughs> Next ball. Okay, passers, I'm waiting on you. Talk to each other. I, this is this is a verbal drill too. All right, here we go. Four, four. Great job. Open, open. Good job, Middles. Next. Good job. All right, middle. Here we go. Good pass. Making sure we're moving on our toes here. Moving forward, moving forward. Nice job. All of you need to call short. Now, middles, you help out with a short serve. You can take a short serve here. What do you think about that? Okay, why don't you back up here, and they can help take a short serve. That'll help you out. Good. We've just got to make sure our middles practice passing those little serves. Here we go. Short, short. Middle, you got to make sure you're in there and ready to go. Here we go. Good. Nice job, passers. In, 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 in. Nice pass. Excellent job. Way to run through that. Here we go. Servers, let me see. All right. Okay, passers ready again. You're still doing a great job. Servers, are you guys getting all of those zones he's giving you? Good. All right, who's serving? All right. Good. All right, let's get one more good one. Oh, 
One more good one. Next passer. Here we go. Good serve. <clears throat> Okay, one more good serve now so we can get a swing at our middles. Okay, let's get another one where our setter can get there with her hands. Got to push it on our passing. Here we go, focus in. That's a minus every time we pass it over now. All right, way to go. Nice job of moving back and calling that. That's it, much better. Here we go, next middle. Oh, another minus. Here we go. Now we've got ourselves in a hole over there, actually, so we really need to focus in and get the right passers out here. Okay, a good pass to the setter. Here we go. That's another ace. That's a minus. Here we go. Hey, you need to watch the ball there, please. All right, this is the drill we do at the end of practice. And as far as we get ourselves in a hole, we're going to stay here. So serve reception is very important mentally. Make sure we're staying with it. Get there behind the ball. Hold your follow through. Okay, that's a good swing. Here we go. Nice pass. Good job. That's a great one. We'll end the drill on that one. Again, really use this to talk about our seams, our responsibilities, where we are on the end line, on the sideline. I think it's real important that we see how well we can pass if our middles could get in an attack. If we're not passing well enough for our middles to attack, then we really need to work on our passing. But this is a good drill to do at the end of practice just to see how mentally we can hang in there because that's you win and lose a lot of games on serving and passing. This next drill we're going to do is just a six on six drill. But we're going to add a little bit of a variety in scoring. We're going to go ahead and whoever wins the rally, we're going to give them an opportunity to receive a free ball and see if they can score on that. And once they've received a, a free ball twice and scored and gotten two little points, we'll let them rotate. So we'll have you serve right here. We'll start with a serve on this side. And then I'll be ready to throw in a ball to whoever wins. Here we go. Here we go, free ball, ready? All right, that's a point for this side. Okay, let's serve it again. That's a foot fault right there. Here we go, free ball for this side. Okay, that's a, that's a wash because they won the rally and you won the free ball. Your serve again. Ready? And here we go. All right, so they got a baby point. Both of you have a baby point, right? Whoever wins the next one, can I get that ball, please? We'll win the rally. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Watch that ball, please. Here we go. That's a wash again because each of you won. All right, your serve again. Ready? Five, seven, eight, 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 
Here we go. Free ball. Throw the ball out of the way quickly. Here we go. That's a wash again. We're trying to get somebody to win the rally twice in a row. You've got to be able to do that to score points in a game. Here we go. Here you go. It's your turn for a free ball. Throw it off to the side, please. Ready? That's a wash. Each side one. Here we go. Let's try and concentrate on this. Ready? Here we go. That's a wash again. Really got to make our teams tighten up here to try and concentrate on two in a row. Next ball. Watch the ball right there. Here we go. Ready? Okay. They won both of those. They got those two baby points first, so they get to rotate. So this will continue on and on. Wash scoring. We might change it, and this, this group will stay in this rotation until they win two baby points in a row. The rally and then the free ball. We could also change it up. So uh, down ball, maybe the team that wins the rally gets a down ball. We can change it a lot of different ways, and then they rotate every time they win that. We could play to three little points. We could do a lot of different things. But that's a, an example of wash scoring six on six. This next drill, this is six on six right here. But what we've done is we've taken our front row and we've matched it up. This is our 18s team. And we're going to try and just play our front row against our front row. So they really get strong hitters, strong blockers. We've taken our 16s team, and we're going to ask them to play defense here. It's just a regular game. So let's go ahead and have this. Uh, we'll have you start serving since you've got a ball. Team serve reception right here. Good. Hit, hit, hit. Four. Okay. All right. That's a point for this side. Regular scoring. Next serve. Okay, side out and rotate. Actually, it's not a side out, it's rally scoring. It's your serve. Here we go. Yep, you get to rotate. Front row, you stay up here. Back row, you stay back there. Here we go. All right, nice job. This side right here. Here we go. All right, point for the other side, your serve. Nope, black stays in the back. Let's switch. Where's our right sides? Right sides? Right side, right side, let's switch right here. That's all right, we'll have a setter. Somebody be a setter? You be a setter on the right side? Here we go. Ready? Nice job. That's a point. Let's have a serve right here. Ball's right back there in the basket. Ready? Out. Let's rotate. Your serve over there. Black, you guys rotate. Let's switch middle backs and middle backs quickly in the black. Hurry. Quick. Middle back and middle back. Go. Quickly. Okay, you're serving. Ready?
Okay, I think this shows you it's an excellent opportunity to really put uh, strong hitters and strong blockers at the net together and to give an opportunity for the other team to work on their defense and passing. Now let's switch and have the white team or the 18s play in the back row. Black team or 16s come up. Let's have this team serve right over here. Blockers, let's look good. Hands up, blockers. Okay, good transit. Oh, stay on your feet. Here we go. That's a point for this side. Next serve. Ready. Back up to receive over here, guys. Oh, nice job. Another point over here. Here we go. Team serve, receive again. Okay, another point over here. Okay, way to keep it going. Nice job, blockers. You're just intimidating them, aren't you? Out, out. That's a point over here. Okay, that's enough for this. I think you can again see that we can switch back and forth. It's really a nice way to intermingle both teams, but it also puts our strength either at the net, sometimes against each other kids their own age and who they need to play against, and then we can put the other people in the back row, but alternate and switch, rotate around the net, and rotate around the back row. Okay, I'd like to ask this group to play invisible volleyball. It's just gonna be a scrimmage without the ball. I don't really wanna say much else, but we're gonna have our server over here start. You're gonna receive a serve and just play with what you think is the volleyball, okay? Just one ball, she's serving. Let me blow the whistle. Hang on just a second. Are you ready? You guys are passing. Back up and pass. Blockers, what are you doing? Blockers, hands up at the net. Let's get ready. All right, let's try it again. Here we go. Let's have Brittany serve it again. What's the purpose of this drill? It, I'm trying to read what's happening. I should only have one person calling this serve, depending on where her palm ends up. Only one of you should be passing it. Last time we had two or three of you say mine and jump like you were passing it. It should also, my other concept of this drill is it should be ideal volleyball. Everybody should pass perfectly, every set should be perfect, every spiker's approach should be perfect, we shouldn't be in the net at all, we for sure shouldn't have run into each other like we just did, so let's see if we can do a better job. Okay, perfect volleyball right here. Get your hands up, blocker, facing the court, calling out the hitter. Okay, somehow we lost the ball again. Some team confusion, but this really shows us what we need to work on. I think your team will enjoy invisible volleyball. You'll find out that their techniques look the same whether there's a volleyball in play or not. Hitters reach like this, passers do this, setters get in the net. It's kind of scary, but I think it's fun to do with your team. Again, a nice job uh, trying to read what's happening and watching the hitters' hands, watching the blockers' hands and see where it goes when they block it. So that's invisible volleyball. This last drill we're going to work on is, again, another six-on-six -six drill. But I have a, a list of, actually, a pack of index cards that have consequences on one end and team situations or game situations on another side of the cards. So what I'm going to do is ask somebody to come up and just draw one, and then we'll make sure that we do that drill. OK? Thank you. All right, this one says the score is going to start at 15 to 15. We're going to start the score at 15 to 15. And you, you'll score points, but you'll get two points if you set the right side. So the focus of this is trying to get us to score from the right side of the net. OK? The team that doesn't win gets to come over and choose a consequence. And then we'll, then we'll switch and do another, uh, another type of a situation. Ready? All 
All right, that's double points because they set the right side and they scored on it. Rotate right there. So the score is 17 to 15. Ready? You guys are receiving a serve. Here we go. All right, they scored two points on setting the right side. Let's rotate. Here we go. Good job. Now, we don't want to force the right side, but this just means we need a little practice running our right side, so we'll call it for double points. Okay, that's just a wash. Let's give, I'm sorry, was it off of you or them? Their ball, okay, that's a point for you guys. Got a point? Thank you. Here we go. Still double points for right side. All right, they scored on a right side attack. That's double points for them. The score is now 19 to 18. And you're serving, so we've rotated. Here we go. Ready? All right, let's rotate. You get the ball. That's a point for this team. 19 to 19. Here we go. We're going to play our game out to 25 or a regular scoring game. All right, another score on their right side. So that's two more points. Scores 21 to 19. Next server. Ready? That's just one point. Well, I'm sorry. I thought you were trying to send her to the right side. So do I count you as a right side or not? No, I'll no, no, I thought I did okay, the setter scored, so we'll give her two points. She was on the right side, but she was sending somebody around. All right, scores 23 to 19. You've got to hold them here. In, in. Okay, that's a point. We rotate. Scores 23 to 20. All right, that's just a point for you guys. Rotate over there. Scores 24 to 20. Need three passers back here or four passers? All right. So we got two points, and this team won over here. What I found from that drill, it was really an effective way to get our setter to start dumping the ball. We'd been talking about her trying to get her a little more uh, involved in the action. So I thought both teams did a nice job of trying to utilize the right side, and we rewarded them for points. Okay, so what do you have over here? You get some consequences to choose from, don't you? Okay, what are we going to do? Quickly. Okay, 90-second wall sit. You know what that is? Run over there right against the wall. We'll just do it a few seconds. The winning team can get a drink. Just squat down there real good. Ready, go, and then we'll just time them again for a few seconds. Just something that we call a consequence. It's just a little bit to make them uncomfortable, not to hurt them, but to really make them push on their uh, effort to win. Okay? All right, you can get up. Thank you. Okay, so I think you've had a look at all the different drills that you can do with the team, trying to vary the scoring. Sometimes it's coach-centered, sometimes it's player-centered. Also, we usually, whenever we use a scoreboard, we try and play to completion of a game. So we start the score, we can start it lopsided if we need to even the teams out, if it's a first team versus a second team. 
or we can just try and give bonus points for things we need to work on. Attacking out of the middle, uh, the setter attacking, right side if we want to work on back row attack. So we really try and set our drills up to have it move quickly, keep everybody involved, and then change drills pretty frequently because I think kids uh, sometimes get a little bored if we stay with the same drill. It's also very important that the coach knows how to measure these things and how many balls they should start with or how many opportunities or how many successful times because a lot of times we'll start too high or too low and I would suggest you start lower and then adjust your numbers up higher the next time they do it. But I thought you got a good look at uh, some of our 16s and 18s here from Tallahassee and going through a drill session. I think you'll find if you can set your drills up correctly, your team will become successful, you'll be a great coach, your team will be able to really enjoy their practice situations and be successful on the court and enjoy the game of volleyball for the rest of their lives.